Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. It to, I, you know, I've already touched on this in previous videos, but we'll talk about it again. And that is the disrespect of Keith One Time Thurman, man. It just, it's sad, man. It really is sad. I think Keith One Time Thurman is one of the smartest boxers in boxing. The man has effectively became a unified champion at welterweight. The man has now effectively uh, uh, raised his profile to the level that all other fans are waiting to see what he's going to do. He has set out, you know, long enough or whatever you want to call it, fake the injury, said his hand was hurt, whatever. But he has gotten rid of a mandatory because the WBC was going to make him fight two mandatories. Now, if, you know, he sits out a little longer and according to the WBC, given that Thurman has hurt his hand, they're probably going to order a fight between Showtime Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. So now Keith Thurman will be down to one mandatory in the WBC. Smart, man. Very smart. People are running around like, yo, well, Keith Thurman ain't got this hunger, man. No, Keith Thurman is smart, man. Keith Thurman now is in a position where if Manny Pacquiao defeats Lucas Matisse in the WBA, he can possibly set up a Pacquiao fight. Now, I don't see it happen, but it can, ha I mean, it's possible because Manny Pacquiao will probably be the, what, the WBA regular champion, making him a Mando to Keith one time Thurman. And who knows when that Mando may get ordered, if it will get ordered. But still, just in a good position. Everybody like, oh, he don't, he ain't not gonna come back and fight nobody. He wanna take all these tune-ups. Yet when Andre Ward first came back to fight, and I ain't hear nobody saying nothing about Brand, nothing about the, the Sullivan Barreras, and who was that other dude that he fought? I forgot the guy. Ah, I forget his name. But no one said nothing about that, those level of fights. Nobody said nothing about Tyson Fury saying that he well, he sits out of the ring for as long as he have. He wants to come back and fight Shannon Briggs and Antonio Tava. But I don't hear nobody raising hell about that neither. So clearly, Keith One Time Thurman has tapped into some sort of emotional fan vein. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, it has mostly to do with Earl Spence Jr. Let's just be real. If, if the man fights Earl Spence Jr. in his next fight or soon, everybody will be happy. But that ain't smart for Keith Thurman. At least that's what he's thinking. I heard Keith Thurman say, yo, man, I don't have a, a Manny Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather. Basically indicating, look, since I became a unified champion, man, I want to be paid like such. Now, that ain't my thing. That's his thing. But that's how he's looking at it. He's looking at all the other champions like, yo, man, these dudes, y'all allowed to get this check. They was allowed to go do this. They was allowed to go do that. Look at me, man. Y'all want me to just take on Showtime Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, and turn around and fight Earl Spence Jr. Even though I'm coming off of surgery. That's unrealistic, ladies and gentlemen. That's unrealistic. And like I've heard an uploader earlier say, if y'all got such a major problem with it, then why ain't Al making the fight? Al Heyman can make this fight. He advises both of these fighters, right? Why ain't that fight being made, if that's the case? I tell you why. Because of, well, <laughs> I guess because Earl Spence Jr. chose not to go the WBC or the WBA route, which those are the belts that Keith Thurman holds. He could have been had the damn fight. I've told people this many vids ago. You know what I mean? Y'all don't like it, but it's the truth. Earl Spence Jr. could have been in the mix. He could have been had this fight. When the WBC made him third overall to face Timothy Bradley, let's say we, we all know that there, there was a, a move by the WBC to, sleep, to up Earl Spence Jr. They knew he wasn't going to fight no Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley would have fell out of the rankings. Earl Spence Jr. would have got another high-level opponent in the top five of the WBC, effectively putting him in a position to get all of those fights. But he chose the IBF route instead. And I'm going to leave it at that because when I go further than that, people just start to get a little rattled. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, like, you know, so he could have easily had these fights if if these are the fights that he wanted. Even if they wasn't Keith Thurman, it could have been Danny Garcia or Sean Porter or one of them dudes, maybe Jesse Vargas or somebody like that. Not Carlos Ocampo in the graveyard known as the IBF. So those fights could have happened. But, however, now since the fight ain't happening yet, I guess Keith Thurman looks at it like, look, I'm going to build my super fight. All right, I'm going to let y'all keep talking it up, which is smart because I see uploaders talking about this every week. I'm going to let the media, y'all keep hyping this thing up. And guess what? There's going to come a time where I get these soft touches out the way and I get that mandatory out the way 
And there's going to come a time where there's going to be no one left but me and Earl Spence Jr. If Earl Spence Jr. is still here. Effectively building us into a super fight, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not a, I'm a consumer. So I'm not big on paying a bunch of money for the fights. But yet and still, I would pay pay-per-view money for Keith One Time Thurman versus Earl Spence Jr. Hands down. So if that's what they're looking to build it into, then hey, it's a smart move. It's a smart move. Fans don't seem to see that. I think Keith Thurman is the smartest boxer in boxing. Now, I'm not going to turn on the dude until his actions in the ring show me that he ain't dedicated no more. Everybody's like, oh, he lost his hunger because he's taking his time. Oh, he's lost his hunger because of... Man, look, man. One thing I've learned about boxing, and I've been watching it since a day old, man. One thing I learned about boxing is you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You don't know what conversations that Keith Thurman is having with the WBC and the WBA or Al Heyman is having with Earl Spence Jr. Or if Keith Thurman is actually speaking to Earl Spence Jr. behind the scenes and they're working on some sort of thing. You don't know this, man. Y'all don't know this. But everybody's running around putting themselves against Keith Thurman. Smart dude, man. Let him keep maximizing, man. And let him keep grinding. I got nothing but respect for Keith One Time Thurman. But however, I'm not going to tolerate a bunch of soft tunas, but so long, just like anybody else. But as of right now, to me, man, I think he has all the leeway he needs. You know what I mean? I feel like he's Robert Mueller in the investigation. He'll give him all the space he wants until, you know, eventually the time starts to run up. But right now, take your time, blood. Take your time and just realize is this your career and legacy and Keith Thurman 2.0 going to have to be even better than, two, than Keith Thurman 1.0. So to the next video, Main Man, Main Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Main Man 511. Facebook, Main Man, Main Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man, Main Man. Some of us get it. Some of us don't. You know what I mean? Some of us get it. Some of us don't, man. Um, some of us can see right through this. And we see what Keith Thurman is doing. And everyone wants to call him all of these names. But when this man wins and when he takes these fights... I don't want to see people changing their tunes. Real talk. So to the next video. Peace out.